there and welcome to episode two of our four-part series, So You Want to Start a Business. Today we're going to be talking about startup capital, how to get a line of credit, and the best way to get a loan. Tip number one, try to get a line of credit before you start your business. It's very difficult to get lines of credits and business loans once you actually don't have an income anymore. So if you're thinking about quitting, don't just yet. Make sure you can secure yourself a line of credit before you actually take the plunge. Tip number two is try to get a business loan. Now I'm gonna break some of your hearts here. It can be really difficult to get a business loan, especially for a startup. Most people think that you just need a really stellar business plan. That's not necessarily the case. Business plans really help with the entrepreneur to actually see where they're going and plan, but they really don't help that much when it comes to applying for a loan, unfortunately. What they're really gonna be looking for at the banks and conventional finance is they're going to be looking at your personal assets. That's things like investment accounts, houses, anything that you could liquidate if you defaulted on the loan. They're also going to be looking at your personal credit score. So again, you're going to want 650 and up as your actual credit score. And that goes from a sole proprietor to a partnership and all the way through to a corporation. It doesn't matter which ownership structure you have. All the shareholders or all the owners are going to have to have some sort of assets. In fact, depending on the type of business you actually want to open and the riskiness, they may even want a one-to-one -one ratio of debt to asset, which is jargon for if you want to borrow $20,000, you need to have $20,000, which sucks because if you had the $20,000, you don't need the loan. What you could do is if you did have some cash squirreled away, but you didn't actually have an asset to liquidate as collateral, you could use the cash, put it into a GIC or a T-bill, and then use that as collateral for your business loan. There are other options of startup loans. If you're using that startup capital to buy equipment, you can use the equipment that you're going to buy as the actual collateral. However, even in these cases, you're probably still going to have to put up some personal assets and you're definitely gonna to need to have good credit on all accounts. So tip number three would be trying alternative alternative places. So if you don't want to go with the conventional banks and you don't have a line of credit, you're still not out of options. There are some government sponsored centers that actually help people to get business loans that put a lot more weighting on the business plans and less on whether or not you have certain assets. That doesn't mean you're off the hook, but it just means they weight them differently. These would be things like in Canada, the BDC, or if you're 35 years and younger, the CYBF. So make sure that you Google those if you're looking in the market. You can also try something like the leadership grant, which is a grant and not even a loan. And that's ideal if you get that because you don't even have to pay it back. Really alternative new methods of actually getting business financing are things like peer-to-peer -peer lending. So in the US, this is things like Prosper and Lending Club. And if you have a credit score of 640 or 650 and above, you can actually apply online, link up directly with other people that are willing to actually share money with you and invest in your business. It's almost like instead of having an angel investor, it's like an angel lender. And lastly, I'm sure you've all heard of the site Kickstarter. So crowdsourcing is a great way to actually fund your business, but you have to make sure that you qualify for whatever the mandate is of that specific site. So don't get discouraged if you think that you might not have a chance to get startup capital. There's tons of ways and lots of other people that might still be interested in your business. In fact, if anyone out there has any tips and tricks on how to get your business off the ground without spending a lot of money, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to share that with the community. I'm Shannon Lee Simmons and you're watching Money Awesomeness on Coral. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and tune in next week for HST, the good, the bad, ooh, and the ugly.